Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best most overpowered 400k teams right now in FIFA 21 that you guys can use to destroy your opponents in foot champions but with that being said before I go ahead and dive into this incredible squad builder I got a quick little message for you guys so let me get straight into it if you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you guys have to do is simply like this video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications all right and once you've done that take a picture screenshot that head over to my instagram follow my instagram and then dm me that screenshot of you following the steps and once you've proved to me that you've done those things i'll then build your squad it's literally that simple and then you can end up like these guys So make sure you guys go ahead and follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad. But enough of the chit chat, make sure to smash the thumbs up button if you do want to see more overpowered squad builders on the channel. And without further ado, let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's get it, let's go. Okay, so as you guys can see for this incredible team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4 3 3 third variation, but that is only for chemistry reasons. Um, I'll show you a more overpowered formation that you guys can use um, at the end of the video once I've actually shown you the full team first. So this formation is only just to get everyone on full chemistry. So we're going to dive into the first player of this team. And in this striker position, we actually do have Raja 9 goal. And again, like I was saying, this formation and certain players are in positions just to get everyone on full chemistry but i'll show you how the team should look like in a game all right so in the striker position we actually do have rajalai and golem make sure you guys do confirm in towards the striker spot um just so we can get everyone on full chemistry but obviously he will be playing in the center mid spot and now this guy man definitely one of the best center mids in this game especially at this stage of fifa incredibly overpowered he's good at all he's so well rounded um he's good at defending he's good at attacking you just simply cannot go wrong with picking nine golem so i really really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up man so overpowered got good shooting as you guys can see 75 finishing 86 shot power 89 long shots decent passing as well good dribbling good defending you you, you just can't go wrong so just make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Rajanai and Golan, man, because he is absolutely incredible. But with that being said, let's move on in towards a left wing spot. In this position, we do have the main man himself, Eden Hazard, man. A very, very overpowered player in this game. And I think he's much better this year than he was last year in this game. I think he is very overpowered. Um, his agility, balance, ball control, dribbling, composure, all of that stuff is absolutely amazing in this game. His finishing is very, very good. Much better in game as well. It's, it's definitely higher than 82. Um, his sprint speed and acceleration is good. He's weak foot and skill moves is good as well four star four star as you guys can see so again man this guy Eden Hazard he's good at all so I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up he's so good from that left wing spot so I really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but with that being said moving on in towards the right wing spot we do have an inform um, again he goes by the name of Lozano Hervine Lozano man very very overpowered in this game especially this inform card it really is a good card man so sweaty so pacey man as you guys can see 95 pace um four star skill moves three star weak foot 95 acceleration 95 sprint speed 78 finishing 93 agility 82 ball control and 84 dribbling um yeah he's a fantastic card very very overpowered and again in game man you can really feel um like his his level of ability man it really is good um and again he's just so sweaty and it's just a pain to come up against because he's so fast he's got a good shot on him as well um but yeah again a fantastic player really really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up and he also does have outside foot shot trait as well which is actually quite good but also remember as i said make sure you guys go ahead and convert nine golan to a center forward but this is the attacking trip well not really the attacking trio but this is the attacking lineup as you guys can see so uh, yeah let's go ahead and move on in towards the midfield okay guys so moving on in towards the center mid spot in the central center mid spot, we actually do have Dries Martens, a very, very overpowered card in this game, man. Really, really do recommend him. I think he's just so overpowered in this game. His shooting is ridiculous, bros, and his finesse shots as well. I've used this guy before, and he's absolutely insane. So I really, really do recommend that you guys can get him. And as you, as you guys can see, he's got so many fantastic uh, player traits. And uh, yeah, again, I'm not surprised his finesse shots. He, he, he has finesse shot trait because, yeah, in-game, his finesse shots are absolutely ridiculous. His finishing in general is very, very good. 
good. His agility, balance, dribbling, ball control are just fantastic. And I really, really just think Mertens makes up a really good striker in the game. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. Four star, four star as well. Absolutely love this guy to bits. And now that I've actually put Mertens in, I've actually realized you don't need to convert um, nine Golan to a striker. You can actually play him in centre mid. I'm actually an idiot. For some reason, I thought that... Um I thought that Mertens wouldn't get full chem in the striker spot for some reason, but then I forgot Mertens and Nine Golan strong link. So I made a mistake on my part there. You don't actually have to get Nine Golan as a striker. You can just get him as he already is. And uh, yeah, again, you don't have to get Mertens as a centre mid. That's my bad. But uh, yeah, moving on into also two um, CDMs. One of them though is a position change, and in the right CDM spot, it actually is Dybala. And again, he's on he's only here for chemistry reasons this time. Um, but yeah, he, he will be playing Cam in game. So again nothing to worry about but this card man again is just ridiculous and again the finesse shots on this guy on his favor and left foot are absolutely ridiculous again man um he's dribbling shooting his pace is decent as well passing is good he's just a fantastic card four star skill moves 92 agility um 94 ball control 90 balance 91 dribbling 84 composure he is a fantastic card 84 finishing as well decent amount of pace he does have and again a lot of fantastic traits so uh yeah paulo dybala man is really an overpowered card so i really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up um because yeah he's just absolutely insane but with that being said moving on in towards the left cdm spot we do have another real madrid man he goes by the name of valverde i'm pretty sure that's how he pronounce his name but this card here um a lot of people do like this card and i can understand why it's a fantastic fantastic card um he's pacey as well which is a very it's, it's a nice thing to have for a centre mid to have a quick centre mid someone that gets across the pitch very very quickly um it's always a good thing to have he's got 89 sprint speed and 82 acceleration so that's absolutely crazy and then he's so well rounded he's got good passing good dribbling good ball control good defending stats good stats going forward as well in terms of his shot power and finishing i just think that he's such a well-rounded card and that is why i do recommend that you guys go in and get him and again he's like six foot one as well six foot so he's tall an aerial threat i just think there's so many positives about um of our Verge. so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man because you guys will not regret it a fantastic card to use at the top top level of this game but with that being said that does complete the midfield that does complete the attack let's go ahead and move on in towards the midfield and we're going to start off with the right back spot and in this position we do have juan Cuadrado, uh, Juan Cuadrado, a very, very good right back, um, pacey, he's actually super agile as well, which is very, very nice, five-star skill moves, good defensively, again, there's no negatives about this guy, really and truly, I mean, he's a fantastic card, a fantastic right back, I know his, like, interceptions and his defensive awareness isn't too good, but predominantly from a fullback, you want that pace, and that's what he does have, so, uh, yeah, I really do recommend you guys go ahead and, uh, pick him up as well, and he's also very, very good going forward, so, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Cuadrado but with that being said moving on in towards the left back spot we do have Renan Lodi um Renan Lodi a very very overpowered uh left back in this game again a lot of people like to use him he's got he's not as fast as someone like Quadrado but he's got four star skill moves he's very good defensively um where like Lodi doesn't have that pace like that Quadrado does um he kind of makes up for it with his defensive stats so you know Quadrado's um not as good defensively as Renan Lodi in terms of his defensive awareness and interceptions. But um, yeah, Renan Lodi um, isn't as fast as Quadrado. But overall, he's still a good fullback. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, pick him up. Very, very good agility as well for a fullback. Good ball control, good dribbling. Just genuinely good on the ball. So he's good defensively, not too bad going forward as well. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. But now we move on in towards the center of our game partnership. And we're going to start off with the right center back spot. And in this position, we do have Mateus De Ligt. And he actually is one of my favorite center backs in the game, bros. Really, really do love him. Um, yeah, he's not the... F I wouldn't say he's too fast, to be honest. He's got 68 acceleration and a 75 sprint speed, as you guys can see there. So it's not the fastest, but... What I do like about him is his strength, man. I've actually realized this FIFA. I feel like strength is a little bit more important this year for center backs. And he's got that. His defensive awareness is fantastic. His standing tackle is fantastic. His, eight, his um, slide tackle is good as well. And so is his interceptions. Just generally in this game, Delit, he feels a very, very overpowered. And just because of that, you know, that overpowered feeling factor, um, that's just something that you get with um the lit and that is why i really really do recommend him that you guys 
uh, I really do recommend him to you guys. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Delit. He is a fantastic, fantastic player um, to use in this game. But with that being said, to partner up with Delit in this uh, centre back spot, we do have Eder Militao, man. Again, another Real Madrid player, a very, very overpowered player in this game, man. He may be cheap, well, relatively cheap. He's like 20k, but 20k for an 80 rated is very expensive. And again, he only may be 80 rated, but man, you guys know how it is, man. In game Militao. One of the most annoying cards to come up against. Absolutely incredible in the game. I don't know what it is about this guy. I really, really don't know what it is about this guy. He's kind of like this FIFA 17 um, Chris Smalling. It's crazy, man. Um, but yeah, he's a fantastic card. The stats don't really tell the full story when it comes to Eden Militao because in-game, he plays so well compared to what his stats do suggest. But overall, man, really do recommend you guys get him a fantastic card to use in this game. And um, to complete this incredible 400k team in the goalkeeper spot, we do have Neto, man. And Neto, I liked him last FIFA and nothing's changed um, in this FIFA, in my opinion. Apart from the fact that he's got downgraded, a minus three downgrade, he still performs, in my opinion. So um, yeah, as you guys can see, this... This is the incredible 400k team. Remember, guys, um, you want to convert Dybala into a CDM or centre mid just for chemistry reasons. But um, what I want to tell you guys as well now is another formation that you guys can use in game. And the formation I recommend to you guys is the 4 2 3 1 formation. I think this formation is fantastic and I just think it will work so well. Um, with this team so once you change into this formation in game remember do it through uh, creating a custom tactic preset and uh, yeah this is how you want to set up so Mertens up top Dybala Cam Lozano on the right um, and Hazard on the left and then Nine Golan and Valverde as a, in the two CDM spots so that's how you want to set up in game make sure you guys go ahead and do that but nevertheless I hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know give it a rating out of 10 let me know your thoughts of this incredible 400k team honestly it's definitely one of the best right now in FIFA 21 especially at this stage of FIFA so make sure you guys go ahead and pick it up but with that being said make sure to follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad I hope you did enjoy the video it's been your boy RRB Play and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.